Okay, so I previously made a video on how to fix the transmission error, or at least for Xbox, or if you have an external hard drive. Now I've learned that there is a new method you can try if you don't have an external. That should fix the same thing. I haven't tried it yet, so we're going to find out together here. First, what you want to do is go to your game, manage game add-ons, go over to here, manage installation on the external hard drive or internal, doesn't matter. And what you want to do is uninstall compatibility pack 1 and 2. By uninstalling these, supposedly it will fix the game. Will it? I don't know. Let's find out. So now I believe these two packs are deleted. We'll double check just to make sure I did it right. Okay. Compelling back one is gone. Oh, yep. Okay. They're both gone. Oh, let's switch to data pack. So now let's go back to the game. Game's frozen. But it's still moving. This is not a good sign. Oh. Oh, okay. Now let's load into a game. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I just deleted both compatibility packs, one and two. And then when I got back into the game, it said I was missing data packs. Close the app, restart the app, and it will come back as good as new, apparently. So now let's load into a game and see what happens. There are still five games I couldn't play before with the previous fix, so now let's see if we can get one of those maps and see if it will fix it. Okay, so I just deleted compatibility pack one and two. I tried to join a couple games. It looks like it fixed some of the maps. Like before, I could not join broadcast, and now I can. But it looks like I still have problems joining like, certain maps like Vacant and Piccadilly. Those two maps I still cannot join. But it looks like this method will fix about 90% of your games. So, hope this helps.